Nürburgring. I'm going to be commentating. I'm going to try not to crash. Let's hope for the best. Welcome back to the Game of Muscle YouTube channel. Click that like button and subscribe if you enjoy simulator content. Right, we're all ready to go here. We're gridding up. We've qualified in seventh place, as is tradition. And we are ready. Lights on the screen. Uh, this is my second ever race with this car, so... It's obviously going to go well. I'm actually... Wing flag, wing flag. Oh, you need to hold your brake. I forgot. <laughs> I'm surprised we qualified as high as we did. Oh, let's let him go through a bit there. Let's keep this nice and easy. Because go I on. am Ride a total drive. noob in this car. Go um, on and it's very... It is very unforgiving. <laughs> as I'm a total noob in this car, I am keeping my distance at the start here. The right. Before we go full pushy-pushy. Danger right. zone mode. I am, of course, using IRFFB to get a feel for this. But there we go. First few corners survived. <laughs> oh, dear. So, yeah. Oh, dear. It is a car ahead. Go right. very unforgiving car. I managed to pick the right choice there. <laughs> Multiple choice. Uh, avoid crash question there. And I, I answered the correct question. Move to the right. If I'd have moved to the left, we would have had a brick wall of Renault. So this is going all right so far. <laughs> Don't know how. <laughs> My God. Yeah, the Formula races in iRacing are often a little bit crazy in that you seem to have a lot of drivers that are very good at hot lapping, but then they're t absolutely awful at racecraft, but they're good at driving quickly. These Formula cars seem to attract those types of drivers. Um, so if you're not particularly pro, like myself, and you don't qualify at the front, say the golden sort of top five places, <laughs> these cars end up being very interesting. But hey, look at this. We are... Did we come out on top of where we started? Started in seventh place and we have moved to... Da -da 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 -da. Sixth place. <laughs> I'll take it. We dropped it. We dropped a few places off the start line due to my terrible start technique. It, for some reason in iRacing, you need to hold down the brake pedal and then let put your throttle down and then let off the brake pedal. Seems to be the way to stop wheel spin. Um, it seems like you can't just modulate it off the throttle. I keep forgetting to do that though. Look at this. I feel like I'm keeping up with these guys. Another aspect with formula racing is that if you don't have a competitive setup at all, you, that's it, it's over. <laughs> you, you literally have no choice. But hey, this is this is good. I'm really using this race as a get used to the car race as well. Chris will height will will height? in front of us. I'm lifting through the Schumacher S's there. A bit tentative. Christopher Wagner third. Sa Sadi Idol in fourth. Not bad. You got it, Whoa, we've got another right. car, car off. On the right. Unlucky, mate. I take it. Freebie. <laughs> deep into that there's really big bumps on the exit of the NGK chicane that you have to watch out for getting on the throttle you can spin so easy by just powering out of it and turning and you don't really have any warning it just goes well I've moved up to You're fifth place this is going surprisingly well why practice when you can just jump in like a buffoon a little bit of slip there. That left-hander, you can cut loads, surprisingly, without getting penalised. And you do get... I, I, well, most sims, when you cut that left-hander on the arena corners, you gain a lot of time. So it's not the case with all cars, but most cars, cutting that on the left allows you to then line up the exit much better. Chris will hide. We've got to get this guy. It's the target. 
I'm enjoying this, guys. Super chill. For some reason, f I find Formula cars, faster cars, I find relaxing. And <laughs> I know that's a little bit backwards, but they... I don't know. In my mind, they just... The, the, typically, the faster, more grippy, more high-spec the race car, the more it actually... The more in control of it you are. And in a sense, the easier it is to drive, the less unexpected things will happen. It's not quite the case when it comes to locking up and uh, some aspects of the limit in iRacing. It can still be a bit unpredictable, but for the most part, it's like... The faster high spec the car, the more the more it's you as a driver that's doing something stupid. And it's very obvious. <laughs> it's like, well, it was your fault you did it. Whereas with slower cars that slide around a lot, it's like, well, I didn't know that I couldn't take the corner at that speed. I thought I could. And you only find out until you've slid off the track into the bush. I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of this Renault. As I say, in my mind, it drives a bit like a skateboard. <laughs> it, it really doesn't take kindly to track bumps. And look at this, the weather's got cloudy. I mean, I appreciate the clouds in iRacing. racing. I like when the clouds come and go. It makes me feel like I'm living in England all the time. But part of playing driving simulators for me is a bit of, you know, a bit of sunshine. I don't get it in reality, so I need to... I put my monitor brightness on high, load up a driving sim with the sun on, and that's how I'll get vitamin D. So, less clouds are racing, come on. Oh, a bit of a slide through there. I'm definitely needing to carry more speed through these corners. I'm a bit too timid. Gotta get this NG case you can. They're still bunched up in front, still racing in front of us, which is nice. See, some cars on the NG case you can, you can hit those, you can kind of put the wheel over the top of the curbing and the car will go over it just fine. But this car, if you hit the curbing, you're, you're done. It just starts bouncing and there's no recovery. We're already on lap five. Car in front's pulling away a bit, need to... So I can see that I'm braking too early and I'm not carrying enough speed through the corners. I, I really feel like I've, I've got a lot more pace I can get out of this. With the current setup, I can tell that with my, my driving, I could... Just by driving better, I could get five tenths easy. I think if, you, if you're sad and you do a lot of sim racing, you get a really sort of good intuition for how much speed that you've got left that you can get out of a car. <laughs> and how much of it is, you know, you, you, you know that the car's got more to give and you know that you're just driving badly. I think a lot of people actually start fiddling around with setups and stuff far too soon. Like, there's definitely... You definitely need a baseline setup that's competitive, and that should be in every simulator. I've got to do a separate video on that because that's a really stupid part of iRacing. The default setups are absolutely atrocious. But assuming you've got like a baseline setup, so if you were to put an alien driver in it, they would still be within like a second and a half of track pace or something. You know, if you put a good driver in it, it would be it's competitive. Call it that. Um, you know, in, if you've got like a competitive setup, then. There's, well, first of all, if you've got a competitive setup, you probably could just drive it better anyway. <laughs> but in terms of tweaking a setup then to get that tiny little bit more out of it and get into those really, really, really top competitive setups, it's like unless you can drive every single lap within two tenths, probably less, there's no point. <laughs> there's no point. And unless you are at the point where, you know, you're... Um, you're hitting all the brake points absolutely perfectly every lap and you're at that point where you know when you're when you when you're actually at the limit of a setup you know you're there because you're doing you're doing very subtle sort of 80 90 percent throttle modulation 
through the corners to like get the abs you know the absolute maximum out of the line that you've taken and everything you're doing very very little minimal adjustments on the throttle that's when you typically are at the absolute limits of a given setup but you see people twiddling with setups and doing all these things and going on about setups and stuff and it's like you can't drive so there's no <laughs> you can't drive enough to be set for the setups don't worry about it but uh, yeah as i say i racing should have much better default setups for every single car and every track just just get an alien to do them or get a fast driver to do them sorted but hey i've got an okay setup here so i can't use setup as an excuse and what you can see is um what i can see is the cars that are in front of me especially mr chris will <laughs> it definitely feels like he's just driving away from me better he's, he's just driving better you can tell as I come down the straight, he's not just pulling away down the straight. He's gaining time on the brake points, which is where I can I can see that I'm really not doing a good job of. I'm a little bit worried that what happens when I lock this car up, if it'll just go for a giant giant skid. But don't worry, guys. I'm gonna I am still pushing because I definitely want to get a fourth place out of this. Whilst we're in the Zen Formula Zone. Nice, nice pleasant engine note to this car as well. I mean, it's not the most arousing of engine notes, but it's pleasant. It's nice. It's in tune. Sounds like a Makita power drill. <laughs> Sorry, Renault. <laughs> I like a bit of Makita. And as always, I have the Delta on the screen at the top. So, uh, so I can see where I'm improving and not improving and using that as a benchmark. As, as I like get a bit faster and I try and push a little bit more, I can use my previous best lap delta to be like, okay, well, I, 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 am I pushing it a ton or am I just pushing it a little bit? And is it working or has it, has it worked? Has it not worked? Most of the case, it hasn't worked. <laughs> Most of the case, I'm doing something wrong. But we, no, we're doing all right here. Doing all right. Got the head. I've just got a freebie there. I wonder if that's a collision. Hopefully it is, and I get two freebies. <laughs> it would be nice to have some good overtake action. So that's... Uh, I know, it was uh, maybe a back marker collided with uh, someone? No, it's just the pit. He's just in the pit. So he, I think he just lost it on the exit of the NGK chicane, which... Uh, that's... With this car, that's my worry. As we drop off the right there, and you see the bounce, you get into the bounces with this car, <laughs> you're done. You gotta wait. Skateboards with wheels do not like the bounces. I think maybe Renault got Tony Hawks to design this vehicle. Christopher Wein Weininger made the mistake there. Really uh, awesome, actually, with this race. Um, we, I was looking at the player locations. This is one of the really nice things with iRacing and sim racing in general. Um, we have people from all over the world. There's a Japanese driver in here, Australian. Yeah, nah. Um, we have Austrians, filthy Brits, um, Americans, <laughs> someone from Ohio. It's like... It's crazy that, like, unlike first-person shooters, driving sims, uh, because it's more predictable, like, the movement's not as snappy, um, you can actually race with people from all over the world in one race. It's not always ideal. Sometimes you have lag issues, but... Good job trying to play a relatively competitive game of CSGO with a ping over, over 100, even over 100, uh, even over 80. With driving sims, you can have a ping up to 200 and it's still passable until until you're doing some uh, Michael Schumacher-esque overtake moves and then it isn't. <laughs> well, we are closing on this car in front. Oh, jeez. I think I might try to start taking a wider line into that, to be honest. Although the car's not just lost it over that.
So again, and this is one of the things that Formula cars magnify. What I do is I trail brake too much. I don't brake hard enough initially, and then I trail brake too much. And uh, I'm losing a lot of time because of that. <laughs> so, old habits die hard. But, uh, at least this car's letting me know that's what I'm doing. And at least I'm closing the gap on Mr. Chris. If only your gear shifted at the correct time. Now, I know from the quality times that um, I am about a second off. So it seems like 23.5s are a good lap around here, and I'm on 24.2s. So, and I, I believe I can get a 23.9 with this setup, at least, with, with my skill level, just by driving better. So, we've got a lot to do. We've got a lot to learn. <laughs> a lot to put into practice. And that's really frustrating with driving sims when you know... You know what you're doing wrong. You know what's wrong. But do you have the talent to actually put it right? <laughs> In most cases, no. Not drinking enough tea. Almost halfway through the race here. But watch out, that lift-off oversteer. The lift-off too aggressively there. Just past the point, no return. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and you're pointing the wrong way. Come on, I really want to get Chris here. I, this is my target now. Target fixation on Chris. <laughs> Chase him down. Keep the pressure on him. Now, I think I need to... That corner as well, I need to go, go into it deeper. So I'm dawdling through there. What lines are these, you noob? Stay and fall through here. It, it feels awkward through that corner. Struggling to get it to stick. Well, that was a bit better. I've got oodles of time I can gain through the MGK chicane. Oh, we're getting faster. So is Chris, unfortunately. Oh, the, you know with these Formula cars when the inside wheel locks up? It just, it just seems wrong. A little bit of a lock up from the car in front. That'll have cost him quite a bit of time. Yeah, we're getting on it more. Oh, this might be a stonky donk lap. Come on. I really like the uh, rumble strip sounds in this. <laughs> what? Finding power, guys. He's got attack mode. Spectator was waving a tea bag. That's all the booster needed. Watch out, Chris. <laughs> Kettle's boiling. Three seven. So now, now I'm confident I can get a forty uh, 
43.5 actually, which is actually a reasonable lap time. For me, I'm, I'm sure there's like, I'm sure 42s are what the fast guys are doing, but. For zero practice, jump in and drive game of muscle. <laughs> okay, that is a 1x. <laughs> cut the track there. Ah, they say you cut the track. Only a little bit. I've taken the joke of that. Come on, get in there, get in there, get in there. If I get in within a second, I think this car has quite a lot of draft to it as well. So if I get within a second of uh, probably like half a second, you start getting the draft. Which really helps. But a second will be once you're in. Once you're in a second of someone in front, they'll have the data on the screen, uh, the relative on the screen, and they'll be like, oh no, oh no, he's finding pace, he's gonna get me. That's the voice of the other drivers. It's exactly what they sound like in my head. One second gap, come on. <laughs> Reel him in. Sometimes you're, you know, you're racing the track as much as you are the people. I'm going to drive into that pit wall if I'm not careful. <laughs> That'll be embarrassing. Ooh, might be getting a touch of drag, even from a second back, might be getting a little bit. Someone left the door open because there's a bit of draft in here. Place your bets now. Will we get past Chris? <laughs> Will I bin it? 90 to 1. <laughs> Congratulations. You you betted for bin and you won. 0 0.8 seconds and more lockups from Chris. I'm learning. I feel like one of those AI algorithms. Wait, gradually, it gradually learns and gets better. <laughs> Repeatedly kills itself. Become the Matrix. I do not trust that, that when it's bouncing like that, I expect to die. <laughs> I, I just any moment I think I'll get on the throttle and the car's just going to spin and I won't be able to do anything. That's it, race over. Oh, look at that commitment on the brake in there. Oh, struggling to get the grip on the, that corner. Just don't want to bite in too much. 0.6 seconds. Kettle's half boiled. And now we've got 10 laps to go. And now we're getting an absolute beast of a draft. I'll take the draft assist. Let's try and avoid that. There you go. Avoid the drop off. Track's a bit smoother. Don't want to lose control of the skateboard. This is, this is nice though. It's really good having a car that's just slightly well, slightly slower, hopefully, in front of you, but you can catch them up. Gives you a target. Might get a podium, guys. <laughs> Woo! You always get, you always get interesting racing on this track. Keep pushing. He's definitely feeling the pressure. He's, he's making mistakes on his lines. I've got to be careful I don't drive into the back of him. Christopher Wagner there making a huge mistake. Right side. Still there, hold your line. Clear. There you go, nice and easy up the inside. He didn't really defend that that much. But I'd already got the speed for the move. 
before the corner. So once you're up the inside, there's not much you can do. I mean, he can really hold it round the outside, but you know the risk of the risk of it being race over if uh, the mess if the car on the inside messes up is very very high. So he probably did the sensible thing, and I'll probably take myself out before the end of the race. So. <laughs> Bloody how these bounces. Right, next victim in front. Oh, a bit of a lock-up from me there. Let's go! 3.6 second gap. Can we close that off? Nicely, we pulled away from Chris uh, Will Height. We need to make sure we do keep pulling away so he doesn't get in the draft. Three second gap. Oh, I don't know how much... <laughs> I was like, oh, I could just take the curbing line through that. I'll just slam it through. And then I was like, I've not actually tried that yet. And that could just kill me. So I'll try not to do that. Oh, nice line from the car behind you. Close right on us there. Still got a battle on our hands with uh, Chrissy, Chrissy boy. We might have bought the kettle and poured ourselves a cup of tea, but I think he might be trying to make some coffee, so we've got to be careful. Oh, come on. Keep getting PBs. We might actually catch up with the car in front. And then, of course, as I say, because this car is so unforgiving, if the car in front does a big spin, that's it. We've got we've got a podium. In effectively our second ever race in this vehicle. <laughs> I take it. Pure IIFFB hacks. Pure Fanatec <laughs> Fanatec DD or any any DD for that matter. Wheel hacks. Easy mode. Pay to win. All the gear, no idea. That's my, that's my motto. <laughs> we haven't had any cars ramshackless up the arse, which is nice. NGK Chicane and T1 on this track are often... This is definitely a car up the bum race track. <laughs> T1 on this track, oh my god, the amount of times I've had my posterior investigated by another car. Ow! Big bump there. Oh, bloody Chris has closed the gap on us. It's not over yet. Chris has another word to say. <laughs> this is going to get Jeremy Kyle very soon Chris has taken the DNA test it's his child <laughs> it's coming no Chris Chris also has a vehicle behind him as well that I think is faster than me so at least it was good that we overtook Chris when we did because now he's going to act as a nice barrage flood defence <laughs> I've got to focus on them racing lines because my pace is slow
Come on. Go, 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 go. Not want to lose this to Chris. It's nice, though, that we've got another driver on here that's the same, similar pace to us. Racing is always, like, you don't have to be winning. Racing is always fun. As long as you've got someone that's a similar-ish pace, slightly faster, slightly slower, you're golden. The more people like that, the better. Come on, car. Get stuck in, come on. Go! Release! <laughs> See, you can actually, thanks to IIFFB on that left-hander, when you're turning, you can feel the car loading up in the back wanting to come out. Without IRFFB, you wouldn't get any feel for that, so you might turn more and lose the back, and you'd be like, why did the car crash? Well, I would be. I drive from feel. I don't drive from practice, because I can't be asked with practice. I'm here for fun. I'm here for races, not to drive around in circles and memorise the approach. Jesus, I was so slow. It was not half a second off just because of those two corners. Nick Hubbers is coming up behind Chris. I wonder if they'll come together. Nick Hubbers. Oh, Nick Hubbers has passed Chris. Five, five to go. <laughs> I think we've. Uh, I don't think we. I think Nick Cobbs is going to be threatening me soon. Right, focusing on uh, lapping here. Ah, oh, it's probably a back marker. Yellow flag. Pray for freebies. Ooh, too much throtties. I love the flow of this downhill section. I know, he's back marker. It's Chris Wagner, seven. Come on, maximum concentrazione. <laughs> concentrazione. I'm sure that's how the Italians would call it. I'm well happy if I get fourth out of this. So qualified in seventh, I think. I'd be even more happy if I can get third, but very unlikely. I've definitely learned through this race what I can do, like arena corners, I'm losing a lot of time, NGK, I'm losing a lot of time. Just requires a few more races or more practice and uh, I'll be at that point of balancing the throttle. You know, you, you know when you're on it. You know that feeling when you're balancing the throttle, balancing the brake. You dri you're not driving with the steering at all. Top notch. That's that's how you back marker, guys. Appreciate that. You got right out of the way. No ambiguity. And he even waited until he was at a good point in the track to do it. Five laps of fuel. Thank you for that. 
pull over there. Thank you. Appreciate that. A blue flag at back market doesn't need to pull over like that, but sure is nice when they do. As long as they do it very predictably. Sometimes a back, it's better for back markers to just keep racing their line. At least that's predictable. <laughs> 0 0.9 from Nick Hubbers is, is bloody hell. Two laps to go. I'm going to get Hubbard if I'm not careful. I need to keep pushing. Death by the Hubbard inbound. No point eight. Oh no! <laughs> it's gonna be a. It's gonna be a really battle to the finish. Here he comes, Mr. Hubbers. I'll hubber you down, and I will kill you. <laughs> Hold on to your pickles. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> You've got two laps to go. Left side. Mate. Clear on the left. <laughs> right side. Go left. Yeah, that's Clear one way on of trying line. to take the education cane. Bloody hell. Mate, you... <laughs> <laughs> I, I suspected that's what was going to happen, so I moved right out of the way, y you know. Well, that gives us a reprieve. And that is what I meant about this track remodeling your ass. So that's not the first time he's going to do that. Gonna do it again on the final lap for sure. Come on! Flag, flag. Oh, he's waiting for the final lap. <laughs> oh, come on. Go, escape the hubber. Final lap, guys. Can we hold on to fourth place? Come on. Six. If he gets within point four, we're done. Go, find some more time. Keep pushing.
Point four. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on. You've got about two laps of fuel. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He lost it. <laughs> he lost it. I was focused there, trying to get as much as I could out of this without making a mistake. Reprieve. Reprieve from the Hubbers. <laughs> it was pushing too hard for his own skill level. Yeah, get in there, guys. Fourth place. Second ever race in this car. First ever race with this uh, with a vaguely competitive setup. Woo! It might have not been it might have not been uh, super duper intense side by side racing, but uh, that was a good, nice, focused result. Great job! You did really well. Sweaty palms at the end there. We managed to get the crucial overtakes. I mean, you're gonna mess up this. Crucial overtakes were done. I think that's a good performance. I'm happy with that. We didn't. I didn't do anything too stupid. I could definitely get a lot faster. Loads of corners I can improve on. Braking could be done a lot better. But uh, yeah, nice, nice one. So uh, guys, you know if you enjoyed it, you know you know you can click that like button. You know you can subscribe. Did you know you can also click the bell? I'm pretty sure you probably do by now because YouTube is don't bloody shut up about it. <laughs> but um, yeah, also, as always, you know, Fanatec affiliate link if you're buying Fanatec stuff and my Amazon affiliate link. Got to do this because this is what keeps me in the sim rig and uh, all the channel memberships and stuff. If you want to become a member, you know, you could do that. You don't have to. But uh, I'm going to do some, I am actually going to do some cooking live streams just for channel members. Wow, that's motivation to join if there ever was. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez, that was good fun. Great racing. But uh, until the next one, guys, happy tea drinking. Have a good weekend. And uh, <laughs> I was looking for the button to push there. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone.